So what we got here is leftover grilled shrimp. So let's go straight up. Here we go. We had like a whole tray of them. Hmm. Trying to figure out what that is. Hmm. The asparagus ones are taking kind of, tasting kind of funky. There's a little wasabi on that. Nice. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic Monday Mukbang special edition. And it's special because today is KBD Productions TV's 10th anniversary. I started this channel uh, February 4th, uh, 2009. I was gonna say 2006 was my vlog channel. And uh, that was uh, 13 years old uh, this October. So this channel is 10 years old today. I thought I'd celebrate with some two day old leftover sushi. So my wife uh, had her 50th birthday party on Saturday. We ordered way too much food. And this is some of the residual effects uh, leftovers from that party. Uh, we actually had two whole trays of sandwiches left. We, we thought we ordered enough food for uh, 40 to 50 people. And I think the amount of food that we got was Sam's like, I want to be in this, but this is sushi. You don't like sushi. Now go away. Uh, so we ordered too much food and um, a lot of people, you know, we said we're gonna have snacky foods and like this is, to me, this is kind of like a snacky food, but there was so much of it that uh, people that wasn't, weren't sure, quite sure what the snacky foods involved. So a lot of people ate on the way up uh, to the party. And uh, so there was a lot of leftovers. And luckily the two huge trays of sandwiches that were untouched uh, went to a shelter uh, just uh, south of Bradford called the Blue Door Shelter. And so I was so happy that they took all that food. Uh, thank you very much, Blue Door Shelters. Um, oh, I forgot my, hang on, got my napkin. You need a napkin when you're eating a sushi. Okay, got the napkin out. The only thing they threw away that they, I wish they hadn't thrown away is um, the wasabi. So I'm gonna be doing this wasabi-less. I think I should have like a little thing of wasabi in the fridge at all times. I'm not sure how long wasabi lasts. Um, and then I've got some Calpico in, J in Japan that's called Calpis. C-A-L-P-I-S, I believe. And uh, I got this. That's part of my Christmas present. I've been saving it for a good opportunity. It was like one of my stocking stuffers. So thank you very much. If you ever get your hands on this, it tastes amazing. It tastes kind of like a yogurt drink, cross between yogurt and grape juice. If that even makes sense. So what we got here is leftover grilled shrimp. And then we've got, most of the stuff was vegetarian. Obviously that wasn't the vegetarian stuff. Uh, this was like, I don't know. I can't, I can't tell what most of this stuff is. It was just an assortment of things. They didn't explain what it was going to be exactly. But we've got some asparagus. We've got um, peppers. Uh, I think that's tofu. And um, avocado. That was the word I was probably looking for. Again, usually when you, when you get these ones that have a sauce on them. Usually don't dip those in the soy sauce. Just go straight up, here we go. Happy 10th birthday. Hmm. Those are good. I've taken a bunch of uh, people's advice. They say when you eat your shrimp, pinch the tail a little bit more and it will help get it out. Uh, I was just always under the impression as long as you bit just after the shell and pulled slowly, it all should come out. So, right, if you do pinch it, it comes out even easier. So thank you very much, guys, for sharing that information. These are fantastic. We had like a whole tray of them. That's the first thing I ate. Oh, scrumptious, look at that. Look at that beautiful shrimp. Oh man. There are people that eat that. Not me. Definitely easier. Hmm. Try to figure out what that is. Hmm. Hmm, let's try it anyway. Of 
course the rice is a bit hard. Obviously not even close to being as good when it's fresh. Let's do one of these with peppers. Cucumber. Asparagus. The asparagus ones are taking kind of, tasting kind of funky. A little more calpico. Mm. This looks like eggplant. I would not recommend. I'd like to try it if it was like fresh, but. It turned my stomach. <clears throat> this one I think was all right though. More shrimp. So if you've been here from the beginning at KBD Productions TV, you would have remembered I first started my channel off with skits and just random things and um, I'd buy uh, new camera equipment and do unboxings of it. I liked doing unboxings, it was kind of fun, uh, but I'm not really that technical to give people like specs on things properly, so I'm just a user of this equipment. Um, and then I started doing uh, roller coaster reviews at Canada's Wonderland, and they did really well. But the problem with that was there's only so many roller coasters at Canada's Wonderland, and I couldn't afford at that time to start driving across the country to do other roller coaster reviews. People wanted me to go to all the Six Flags, but it's crazy expensive, and I was probably making like two dollars a video back then. So. Uh, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a, a good thing and I I'd, I'd, My views would go up during the summer and then die during the, the the winter because all my views were coming from the roller coaster stuff So I'm like well, I need something that goes all year long uh, that people will want to watch stuff and um, So I eventually started doing Minecraft videos with Ben on my channel, but every once in a while uh, we would uh, do a food review like I just I don't know I, I don't know what it was I think it was Tim Hortons uh, was it was big big news that Tim Hortons came out with a breakfast sandwich because prior to that they were pretty much all donuts and coffee and they wanted to do, directly compete with McDonald's and so they wanted to have their own breakfast sandwiches to compete with McDonald's so people don't drive to Tim Hortons get their coffee go to McDonald's get their egg McMuffin and then go to work they would just do a one-stop shop at Tim Hortons, so it was big news. And so I kind of almost did it as a news thing more than a food review, and I just wanted to try it to see if it was any good. And uh, from then going forward, I kept doing Minecraft videos and then dropping food reviews every once in a while, and then people started making requests on the food reviews, and I kind of liked doing them, of course. And uh, then my channel just uh, kind of took off. I, I did a lot of uh, poutine reviews at the beginning, too, uh, because people want to see what uh, people around the world want to see what Canadians eat in Canada and poutine is one of the big things. So that's how my channel started and I haven't looked back because it's all been food from there since. And thank you for that. Mm.
This one and the shrimp are the best two things that we ordered. Mm -hmm. There's a little wasabi on that. Nice. All right, guys, I am all done that Monday mukbang. Uh, I'd like to thank every single one of you guys for your support over the last 10 years, five years, one year, three days, I don't care. Thank you very much for stopping by my videos, checking out all the things I've been eating. Time to lose a bit of weight, maybe. Yes, it is. All right, guys, thank you once again for all your support on this channel. Happy 10th birthday, KBD Productions TV. If you want to continue supporting KBD Productions TV, please hit that subscribe button. It sits right around here. Click the notification bell. But if you want to show your support for me, keeping this up for 10 years just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Monday Mukbang. Ken Domic out. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Mm. That's good.